Hello everybody, Bradley Guitologist here. Uh, in this video we are going to turn our attention to this big muff. In the last video we did we we fixed this small stone. So let's look at this one now. Alright, first things first, let's open it up. Okay, so a couple things we notice already. We are going to need a new terminal. Also, we have no... well, there's our light also. So there's no ground wire running uh, to the case like on the small stone. Big Muff is a lot simpler of a circuit than the small stone. There's a lot fewer components really. Uh, fewer ICs. No ICs actually. Uh, in this one we just have a bunch of uh, transistors, looks like four of them in total. A uh, handful of capacitors and resistors and there you have it, a Big Muff. I would say if you were interested in trying to build pedals for yourself, uh, this might be a good, uh, good little circuit to start with. Doesn't look like there's really a whole lot to it. Get the three pots of course. We're gonna uh, put our LED back into place. So we'll go ahead and do that. It looks like we might have to uh, glue it. Let's get the LED back in. We will strip the wires for the battery and uh, see what, if this thing has any life. Okay. Before we put a terminal on it, and I think I've got, I think I might have a couple of uh, extra terminals. If not, we might have to uh, reuse this one and do something with it. Put some tape on, around on the back of it or something. Uh, we'll figure something out for it. We'll just add a battery and see what it does. All right, here's our carbon cable again. Rest in peace, carbon. We have life. LEDs on. Volume works. Pots are really dirty. Okay, so the pots are very dirty. We will clean the pots. Put a new battery terminal on this thing, and I think, I mean, I, th I think that's probably about it. Uh, put the LED back into place. Okay, to get this LED back into place, we're going to have to remove the board. It'll just make it a little easier to get to. Um, also, I accidentally, uh, I accidentally broke this lead that was going to here, so I'll need to re-solder that. So let's go ahead and fire up the soldering iron and get it hot for later. Um, unlike the small stone we just looked at, uh, these nuts actually come off <laughs> by hand. You don't even need tools for that. In my last video, uh, somebody was asking, um, why didn't I just use a socket? Well, that's I, well. Normally, I would use a socket. That's really the best tool for the job. But um, I've got this little this little wrench. It's kind of close, so that's what I was going to use. But when you meet re that kind of resistance, uh, it's usually best to go ahead and stop because you're just gonna you're either gonna break the plastic nut, uh, or you're gonna break this whole piece off, or you're gonna break all the solder joints. Like I did actually crack a couple of the solder joints. I had to reflow some solder, but um, it was best just to stop at that point and make sure we weren't uh, taking it out needlessly. Here's the bottom of the board or the solder side of the board at least. What's this? 395, 397. Does that mean this is a 1997 pedal? I don't know. I'm not a scholar on these. 
but I do know this LED needs to go back in there and I don't know if it's going to hold itself into place or not. We might have to glue it. Yeah, we're going to have to glue it. Let's get some super glue. And just put a little dab around around the edge there and All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of tape across there to kind of help hold it in while the glue dries. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and leave it permanently as well. Okay, now let's leave that and let it sit up a little bit and uh, we'll come back to it. All right, the LED is glued back in. I have the board uh, mounted back in. LED's hooked up. Now we're going to turn our attention to this uh, battery terminal. Speed is of the essence. Okay, it's time to hook this battery terminal back up and I've got uh, the leads soldered in. What I'm gonna do is actually cover this whole thing with some shrink tubing. I've got it the right size. So we're going to cut a piece of the shrink tubing and put on over the top of it just to keep because the back side here the terminals will be exposed otherwise and they might short out against something. All right. Now we'll take our exacto knife and just gently cut around the terminals to expose those. Okay, so that that should work for us okay.
So yeah, that is a uh, mid-1990s Electro Harmonics Big Muff Pie. Big Muff Pie. <laughs> Made by Softech. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you have, and we'll see y'all later.